One of the main problems you can run into with your bed on your Singer 301 is the flop. Today I'll show you how to reinstall the bed and fix your flop. So this video serves two purposes today. One, it is to finish the Singer 301 restoration series. Two, it's for anyone who's just trying to figure out how to fix the flop on their Singer 301 bed extension. I have this machine turned up on its end. You do not have to do this I'm doing it so you can better see where I'm working when I reinstall the bed. So let's talk about the parts that you need. And if you need to know how to take the bed extension off, I have a video for that and it's linked in the description box below for you. But for the last step of the restoration or to just reinstall the bed extension and hopefully tighten it up, you need the bed extension itself. You also will need the screws that hold the bed extension on. When you took it off, you will notice there are two screws and they are not the same. One screw has a standard screw head and the other screw is this funny little flat all the way to the end screw. They're both what are called hinge screws and that is so the bed extension can rotate up and down for you. So this bigger screw is gonna go in the front and this smaller screw is going to go in the back. And I'll show you how to put them on. You also will need two washers. And these washers hopefully came with your machine. So here I have two washers and you'll notice they're different colors. The one that is silver is flat. It's just a standard, almost paper thin washer. But the second washer isn't. It's actually concave, which if you look at it on my finger, it almost sits on my finger like, think of a contact lens. It has this curved shape to it. This washer is special and it is works sort of like a spring that provides tension on the bed extension when you're raising and lowering it. So how do we get started? Well, we're going to take the bigger of the two screws that's this one here and I want you to take the washer that has that curved shape and slide it onto the screw like this so now I'm holding my screw and it has this curved shape of the washer going like this then we can add the second washer we just put it right on top of the first one. Now, this is how we're going to screw it into the machine. So you need to take your bed extension itself and your bed extension should just fit right onto the body of the machine. So I can just slide it on just like this. Now, putting the machine up on its end also helps me kind of keep the bed in place. And I wouldn't jiggle it around too much because the last thing you want is for the bed to fall forward and hit the nose and chip the paint. But we're gonna take this bed extension set in place and we're going to go ahead and put that screw into the hole. And it's gonna go through the bed extension and find the hole that's cut into the actual body of the machine itself. Once you kind of get it seated, you can start to tighten down that screw just like that. Now, I'm not going to tighten it all the way yet. I just want to make sure that it's started so it doesn't fall. And also, I'm keeping my eye on the two washers that I put on the screw because they can get a little cockeyed and then you'll have an issue getting the screw to tighten down. But just so it's not going to fall out. Now, I'm going to turn the machine around so you can see the other screw go in on the other side. So here's the back side and we have the smaller screw and that's just going to go into this hole here and then this one once you start this screw you can go ahead and tighten it down all the way and it's counterclockwise to tighten this screw now be careful when you're doing this if you do put the machine up on its end because this screw even though we've tightened it down isn't going to stop the bed flop but go ahead and tighten it down. And now I'll turn it around and we're going to work on the front again. 
So here's the secret to fixing the flop with your bed extension. Number one, that washer that we put on first should go like that onto the end of the screw. Second, when you are tightening down this screw, just try lightly rotating gently the bed extension while you're tightening down this screw. I know that sounds funny, but it really does make a difference. You will notice, hopefully, that this becomes firmer as you start to tighten that down. Something about rotating the bed while you're tightening the screw just makes a difference. So get it nice and tight. You should have no flop in your bed now. Give it a couple turns to make sure. If you see the head of this screw spinning after you've done that, you haven't tightened it down enough. That's it, no more flop. So hopefully you had no problems putting your bed extension back onto your machine. If you came here just to fix the flop, great, you're done. If you've been following along with this whole restoration series, I hope you understand why I saved this for last. It's just something that is easy to grab when you shouldn't and when we were working on the machine, we didn't want that temptation. So I always put it on last. I can't believe we're wrapping up the series, but we are. Hopefully your machine, if you followed along, is now fine-tuned and working just like it did when it came out of the factory 50 years ago, 70 years ago, however long ago it was. I want to express my gratitude towards everyone who left encouraging comments along the way. And thank you for your questions too. I appreciate those and I love having the opportunity to help and answer them if I can. So now we're gonna say goodbye to the 301 Restoration Series. Don't be sad, there's another one coming for the featherweight. So I hope you tune in for that if you have one and want to follow along. Otherwise, I will be tending to some how-to videos that I have received a few requests for. And now that I know people would like to know how to use the foot pedal or how to thread the machine, I'm happy to show you. So anyway, I enjoyed this very much and I can't wait to see you again. Have a good day. Bye.